You didn't fix the boat since last time? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Knock Pro Nation. I am Jarrell and today we are going to be going over predictions for The Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 7 Stradivarius. So uh, once again guys, Josh is out of town this week so it is just me today and we're going to stick with the normal routine of watching the next episode trailer going over the synopsis and then giving my predictions for this episode this weekend, which I'm totally excited about for one number one reason. This is Michael Cutlet's Michael Cutlet's directorial debut. So Michael Cutlet's will be directing this episode. So let's get into the next episode trailer. Let's do this. On the next episode of The Walking Dead. <laughs> You like these guys. Doesn't mean I trust them. What is it? Stream episodes and extras on the AM. All right, so uh, that was a pretty interesting trailer. So let's read the synopsis here. Uh, Stradivarius, Carol seeks out an old friend living alone in a wilderness teeming with walkers. Survivors make the perilous trek to a new home. So right off the bat, Carol seeks out an old friend. As we know, she is meeting up with Daryl at his location. Um, not sure how far out in the wilderness he is. It does seem like it's a, a pretty far trek um, because Carol and Henry were on their way to the hilltop so it seems like he is closer to the hilltop than he is to Alexandria so that's going to be interesting uh, we are going to see Daryl's dog so that's going to be an interesting dynamic to see Daryl and this dog so not really sure how Daryl uh, gets in contact with this dog and please no spoilers in the comments um, <clears throat> want to make sure that we don't spoil it for everybody but I'm predicting that Daryl you know, maybe this dog is being attacked by walkers and Daryl saves it and then just takes care of it from then on out. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> not really sure how much we're going, what all we're going to see with Daryl and Carol. Um, I think maybe she's just going out there just to see how he's doing. Um, maybe to see if he wants to come to the kingdom or try to get him to go back to Alexandria. Not really sure. Um the survivors are making their way, so uh, Michonne and Sadiq, and I believe one of the uh, old savior guys is with uh, uh, Magna and her group going to the hilltop. So um, the one thing that we didn't get is we really didn't get a send-off for Maggie. So as you guys know, Maggie, Lauren Cohan, is done for right now um, with The Walking Dead. She may return hopefully next season. It all depends on how her new show and other movies you know, take her in her career, but we, wrote, we really don't have any information. So Michonne at the end of last episode said, we're going to go to the hilltop and talk to the leader, and we're going to go talk to her. So at first I thought, okay, maybe it's going to be Jesus is in charge. Well, it doesn't seem that way. There is a female in charge. If it is still Maggie and then we're just not going to see her, I, I don't know how that's going to play out because you know if, if we're not going to see the hilltop again, um, then we're just going to have Jesus out and about with Aaron and some of the scenes that we've seen Jesus with, and maybe he's only in Alexandria, the kingdom. But um, a lot of people are predicting maybe it could be Enid. Um, it could be uh, Cindy from Oceanside. I really don't think it's Cindy from Oceanside. The next best person who would be taking care of the hilltop would be Enid. Um, you know, Sadiq is in Alexandria. He's the doctor in Alexandria. Enid is now the new doctor for the hilltop. So, if it's not Maggie, if if we're just not going to see Maggie, then I would assume it's going to be Enid. Um, I think we're supposed to be getting information about where Maggie is in the next episode or even in the last episode. Not really sure. Um, I truly believe she, I think she left and went to go hang out with Georgie. You know, Georgie's been sending her letters, wanting her to come out there with her. So my prediction for that is Maggie is out um, with Georgie. So anyway, with this episode... Stradivarius. Um, I'm not really sure how much we're going to see. Um, like I said before, 
we're we're not going to truly see the whisperers until after the midseason break. Um, the one shot in the trailer showing Rosita, it seems like she's on her own. So I'm not sure if Rosita and Eugene get separated as they're trying to escape the herd. Um, I don't believe the Eugene would be captured at all. I don't think the whisperers would capture him because I think we saw scenes of Eugene kind of explaining or trying to explain what he just witnessed. You know, he says the walkers are evolving and it wasn't a normal herd. So I think they're just kind of separated for the time being, um, trying to get away. Eugene is hurt. So maybe Eugene is struggling to get away and struggling to get back. And he sends Rosita on to say, Hey, run to Alexandria, try to get me help or whatever. And I'll, I'll try to make my way back. Um, so that's actually really interesting. I, I can't wait to see that. So there really wasn't much with the trailer. As far as getting back to Magna and the group, I think they're going to make their way to the hilltop. I honestly don't think they're going to make it. I think that they're going to run into a herd. They're going to have it now. Well, maybe, maybe not because there is that shot of Michonne and Magna's group running up this kind of uh, walkway. And I don't know if that is in the hilltop um, it kind of reminded me of Negan's, uh, kind of cell area, but that was actually steps, but they're running up this, you know, embankment and it looks like they're in a community, not sure where they are. Um, maybe it's the kingdom. I don't know. I don't think they're going to truly make it all the way back to the hilltop. I think they're going to run into a herd. Something's going to happen and they're either going to have to turn around and fight their way out. Now it does look that Magna is taking the group. It looks like they're going to be going back to where Magna, where we first saw them at the end of episode five, um, because it has that red trailer. And that's kind of, uh, you know, uh, a call back to the comics, too, because Magna was sitting on top of a red kind of trailer. That's where their their camp was. So I think Magna and, and the group are going back to their their camp, maybe to pick up supplies or whatever. Magna's like, hey, can we stop by our camp and maybe pick up some last minute supplies? Um so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of your predictions for episode seven of The Walking Dead. Um, we are getting to the point to where we will see the Whisperers. They're going to come after the mid-season break, so we're going to have to unfortunately wait to s truly see Alpha, Lydia, and Beta and the rest of the Whisperers, which uh, it's going to be so sick. I, I guarantee we're going to see the Whisperers in the second half premiere Um Definitely. We're definitely going to see them. So um, I think uh, in this episode, it's going to be mostly Carol and Daryl kind of rekindling their relationship. I think Carol's going to just be trying to find out what's going on with Daryl. You know, why won't he come back to the community? Um, maybe we'll get some information from Daryl. Like um, he's just still so after six years, he's still so heartbreaking, broken over, you know, losing Rick that he just it's kind of like when Carol had to get away. You know, if you guys remember when Carol stepped away for a while, I think that's kind of what Daryl is doing. He needs to get away from everything for a while, you know, and uh, get his head straight and then he'll come back to the community. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. And please, if you do have spoilers, please make sure not to comment on any spoilers just to make sure that nobody gets spoiled and we see everything in the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the love and support. We truly appreciate it. Uh, make sure you leave a like for the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you always be notified. Follow us at Twitter, or excuse me, follow us at Knockbro Nation on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, we will see you guys next week for our review of episode seven of The Walking Dead. Thank you so much. I'm, Knock I'm Jarrell with Knockbro Nation, and I'm out.